Hello Gemini and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a general love and relationship reading for Gemini from the 20th of August to the 9th of September 2018. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising signs for a more complete picture. I've put the decks I'm using down in the description box. You can purchase them from Amazon so I've put the links in as well. And if you'd like a personal reading, my details of my email address and my website are in the description box so go have a look. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. Okay, so I'm going to do a general energy reading and then I will um, do the general tarot reading after that. Okay, so the main uh, energy is overcoming doubts. Um, there seems to be a lot of anxiety and angst that was uh, uh, going around. You're feeling a bit of bitterness and hatred and upset. Uh, you're actually relying on a lot of uh, inner strength to get over some sort of situation that happened. It seems to have been involving some sort of engagement or something. Maybe you were supposed to get engaged. Maybe you were engaged and maybe that broke off because there were too many tears after that. So something happened with an engagement that you were involved in and there was too many tears so it looks like that this has broken up and this has led to a lot of bitterness and hatred and upset going on with you. Maybe this person was supposed to get engaged with you and they didn't and maybe that is why you're bitter and upset about it. And you have a lot of doubts as well. You're trying to overcome these with the stalk flying off. You are trying to come overcome it and you are relying on your inner strength to get through it. So a new situation coming in for you, a strong sexual situation. Uh, um, attraction to somebody and you will have a lot of communication with this person so news and communication coming in and looks like it's going to be good news good communication and there's a very strong sexual uh, attraction to this new person coming in so leave the past behind you have a lot of doubts and fears leave this hatred and bitterness behind because there is something good coming in and some communication with this person maybe you'll meet somebody of the internet but something definitely coming in maybe this person is some from somewhere international and you will meet them but there's a lot of uh, connection uh, um, communication coming in so whatever happened in the past that didn't work out for you uh, rely on your inner strength to get over it uh, give you know stop having so much of doubts and fears about the future and move on put that hatred and bitterness behind you because that is a very negative energy and it can't bring you anything good. Anyway, you were very trapped within that relationship and maybe it's time to let go right now. Okay, so that's the general energy. So this is um, romantic tarot. I'm just going to draw some cards from it. Okay, so the main energy is that you're trying to find your way. This is the star card and it shows that, you know, you should have a lot more faith and uh, be a bit more optimistic. You're trying to find your true north in a relationship. Uh, you know, you want that relationship that is going to uh, take you into the future. So you're trying to reset your compass. You're trying to find direction in your life. You're trying to find a relationship that takes you. Right now, it looks like it's shadows. So that means that, you know, it hasn't manifested itself yet, this new relationship. But it looks like it will. It looks like it will uh, manifest itself, but you need to find direction in your life in order to make this new relationship manifest. So you need to have a goal and you need to set your priorities. So you need to prioritize what you want to do. Make a plan. This is an important thing in order for you to find your direction in life. So um, what's going on with you? You know, you are sitting back now. Maybe you've been through it all because this is the queen of rods. She's somebody's had all kinds of things happen to her and she's now, you know, uh, world weary is the word. Uh, maybe relationships didn't work out for, for you, you know, any other sexual encounters. Love relationships didn't work out because the rod is on the floor, the hatch is on the floor, the, the flower is on the floor. And you're sitting back, you know, really 
at a, at a loss of what to do uh, in, in this kind of situation. You're just sitting back now because you've seen it all and it's just, you know, nothing worked out, so you're just sitting and waiting for something to come to you. And uh, they are, because this card is, uh, crosses this um, nave of um, cups, uh, page of cups, it seems like there are going to be some in social invitations coming in. You will meet people. You are going out. You know, it's, it's a very a joyful time where you will have a lot of laughs and, you know, going out for dinners and things like that. So something is coming. Some social invitations are coming for you to take you out of this feeling of sitting over there and being lonely or being by yourself and not knowing what to do. So there's, it looks like there's a bit of boredom going on over here, but there are social invitations that are coming in for you. So in the past year, you have been putting your energies into a relationship that didn't work out because this man is putting this lion and it's a futile attempt. He can't move it. So you have been putting your energies into relationships or into things that are not working out for you. So maybe this is the reason why you just decided to just sit back and just see what comes your way. And you've had to uh, give up an old relationship that you've had. So there's the death card coming in over there. So an old relationship has ended. You are mourning and grieving for it. This happened in the last three months. You are thinking about it. You are mourning in it. Mourning it. Don't let it overwhelm you and try and move away from it. Because it was something that, uh, you know, you were making futile attempts. It was not something that was going to pay off in the end. Uh, maybe you're thinking about this person that you were involved in. He was the emperor, a bit of a bully, somebody who, who told you what to do and how to do it. And, and uh, you know, uh, ruled you, if you like, told you how to get, you know. And maybe this is why you have a domineering person. Um, and it seems like this is why you have ended this relationship. And, um, you know, you, you obviously were in love with this person because you are crying for the loss of this person. And you are still thinking about them. They are still on your mind. But they seem to have been a very dominating person and somebody who was very selfish and didn't pay any attention to you as well. Maybe this person, uh, maybe, you know, they are coming across. Maybe they were a business person who spent a lot of time uh, involved in making money. Uh, they are still around you uh, and uh, but they are still, you know, there is a barrier, a block between the two of you. Maybe money separates the two of you. Um, you know, maybe you had a, a divorce from this person, and you know, trying to sort out, um, you know, equities or try and sort out who gets what. Uh, and they are still sitting back, and they also they don't seem to be very interested emotionally. They are still concentrating, focusing on their money, and um, you know, you've now just you just abandoned that kind of thing. You also. You know, it seems like you are two separate people now. Your lives are not entwined anymore, and you don't seem to have any interaction with each other. So um, <coughs> maybe you're just um, uh, getting all the details, the financial details, sorted out so that you can move on because this relationship is now at an end and it is over. So it looks like maybe you had a separation, a divorce, or something, and you are just sorting out the financial issues of it. This person is still very, very. Um, tethered to their um, creating their empire and they really don't seem to have any time. You don't see any kind of emotional um, paraphernalia around here. So they don't seem to have any emotional input into your life anymore. And you are feeling very, very lonely. Uh, maybe whatever you had, that lifestyle is now ended. Uh, you know, all those friends from that past relationship have now abandoned you and you are sitting by yourself and spending a lot more time with both these cards, the Seven of Swords and this Queen of rods as well, spending a lot more time. All those people that you thought were your friends were not ended, ended up not being your friends. Uh, you know, the Seven of Swords is generally a deception card. So they, you thought they were your friends, but they turned out to be false friends, and now you're left by yourself, completely isolated, with this um, oh, ice queen standing in the middle of the table here. So whatever, you know, even if you invite them over for dinner, they're not coming anymore because they have now left you. Because maybe, uh, you know, that relationship. Uh, with this person that you had means that, you know, when they left, this, that group of friends left as well. So you are feeling very, very alone, abandoned, um, isolated from people. Uh, but there is somebody coming in for you with this two of cups in your vicinity. There is somebody around. They're watching you. Uh, they want to make some sort of connection with you. And it's going to be some sort of soulmate connection. But you are hiding behind your mask. They're also hiding behind their mask. It looks like both of you have had uh, relationships that did not work out with these upturned pails of water. So emotional upset. The water's all over the floor. But you all are going to start talking to each other. You all have maybe. You all have not started talking to each other. But that will come in. And the 
two of cups is generally a soulmate connection card so you will have some sort of um, relationship with this person you are just starting off uh, exchanging words at the moment or exchanging conversation so it's the beginnings of something brand new and that will turn into something uh, very stable so you do feel like you've made a big sacrifice within this relationship that you've given up and you feel very upset about it there was, uh, you know, you suffered a lot after losing it and you don't want to go through the, that again. So this is in your hopes and fears. You don't want to make another sacrifice like the one you made in your previous relationship. So going into the future, you've got uh, the King of Cups, uh, Temperance, and you've got uh, the Magician. So yes, this person that is coming in for you is very much more emotionally um, on your um, level um, in tune with you because you've got uh, him pouring this uh, into this uh, cup uh, this liquid uh, it could be wine so they don't only fulfill your cups but they make you feel even better about yourself than you did before so it's not like this person here who is just all about the money this person seems to be about the money because they seem to be quite well off and stable but it also seems like they're fulfilling you emotionally and even better than water that they're putting in it they're putting it wine so it means that they're giving you even a better deal than you thought you were going to get so that is going to be coming in and you maybe just met this person right now they've had some sort of problems in the past but they're very stable and they know what they want and they're very reliable as well and you know maybe they do throw you a little bit off balance as well so they are making you feel a bit shy maybe you're losing you know you're not being able to concentrate on whatever you're doing right now because you're thinking a lot about them maybe they're starting to communicate with you and now you know you're feeling a bit um ruffled by it so they are trying to communicate with you and you know maybe you're not really responding immediately you're still hiding this woman's still wearing her mask and a hat so you're still hiding behind um your previous uh, persona that you had and they are trying to make an approach so you need to decide what you want to do and uh, don't let them um you know get under your skin uh, uh, or make you feel like you've lost control uh, because the temperance cards talks about having that control having uh, fine control over what's going on so try not to lose your head but this person is very emotional to be supportive and they are coming to you with good heart and you are trying to manifest something uh, a good relationship as well so that will come in as if by magic things will start happening with those magician cards you've got all the tools in your hands whatever they see in you they really admire and you don't have to be anything you aren't so there's no need for deception or lies or anything of that this person seems to be somebody genuine and they are going to be making an approach to you and things will start to change you'll have a better communication and understanding with this person and you will be able to do things together build things together with this magician card so this is going to be a reason you need to actually find that a true uh, reason, your true goal and what you want. So ma make sure you know what you want in order for you to move forward. And with the star card, there is divine intervention here. So that means that this is being guided. This relationship, this new relationship that's going to come in for you is a guided relationship. So be aware of that. So um, I'm going to just uh, draw three cards for you. Well, two cards now. One's fallen. So let's see. The first card that fell is the fourth Michael, which says insights that come from quiet meditation, a need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. So you do need to take a little bit of a break and meditate. Come to you know, with a with a four of uh, Michael, it says you know you, you re envision what you wanted out of life in the first place. You know you may have forgotten your goals, but you need to go back and think about what you really what really made you happy and go for it. So the four of Ariel says. Uh, when you give you also receive being resistant to change so uh, you need to uh, have that you know you be you need to be able to be in a relationship where you give as much as you get so you need to start sharing with this person um, this card with the two of cups is showing that both of you are keeping a uh, very tight rein over your emotions you are not revealing yourselves and maybe you will need to do that in order to make that relationship work you need to give and receive so uh, that kind of relationship is coming in for you and the world card says a happy ending full circle spiritual growth and insight so you know you're going to be reaching a phase in your life where you will have a lot more control over what's going on and you will end it, it's uh, the world is a completion so one phase of your life is now finished 
and you will now move on to another phase with a new relationship coming in it seems you know you've got to put the past behind you and with this world card archangel michael is saying you know it is time for you to move on to something better it is guided because it is a major arcana card so it is a guided new relationship that is coming in and you have to lay the past to rest move on and something brand new is coming in and it's going to be with somebody that you can really click with really get along with uh, this is the person that you were waiting for and um, you know leave the past behind um, communicate more with this person and you will find that you know you will have a lot more growth spiritually so I hope that this relation, this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now.